Hi everyone and welcome to my walkthrough for Control. Thank you for checking out this video, it means a lot. If you could leave a like and hit that comment section below, it would be greatly appreciated and would help a lot. Now Control is a game that I've been really looking forward to playing for quite some time. I'm a big fan of the guys behind it, Remedy. Uh, they made Max Payne, Max Payne 2, Alan Wake, Quantum Break, and you know, this one looks great, and I know the narrative is going to be spectacular. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Now then, uh, new game. Um, brightness seems alright, speakers, I'm using headphones. I don't know if that changes the audio at all. If I select headphones, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, text language, English. Actually, I checked uh, one thing and it said I could turn off. Yeah, mute copyrighted music. Um, I haven't hit a thousand subscribers yet as of making this video, so I don't think I can. I'm, I won't be able to monetize this anyway. But, yeah, so I'll just carry on. Uh, anyway. Speakers, text language, English. I'll put subtitles on. Okay, I'll turn the mic off for the intro sequence. Talk to you soon, guys. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone here? Alright. 
so I'm fully expecting this to get uh, weirder and weirder, like a very weird before it starts making sense. I just learned that from playing Alan Wake, so because that gets very weird, and I think in the last maybe half of the game it starts making sense, things start like panning out. So, all right, nothing much here. Let's go through security. Prohibited items and nothing else. Ooh, what's this? Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. Okay. That doesn't bode well. Now I'll, uh, as the walkthrough goes on as well, because this is the first time I'm playing through it, I'm going to try and sort of be quick on the whole turning off the headphones stuff, so if I think there's a story element or like a cutscene coming up, I'll Try and turn the mic off. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Okay. The controls seem rather fluid as well, rather than fine, they're not too clunky. Well, the movement con like the movement controls, running and whatnot, uh, aren't clunky, which are good because I'll be using them a lot for obvious Federal reasons. Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. One of the reviews I read for this did say that a lot of the story is told through, like a lot of the backstory is told through collectibles, so the files and whatnot you pick up. So I'll probably like at some point just look at a bunch of them, like like do a video and just look look at a bunch of them, you know. Anyway, I feel like there's a cutscene coming up, so. Hello. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, Relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound on your heart. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of that. Didn't we just come through here? Do we do what what one do we do one big circle? Alright. Um hmm. I'll go with it. Yeah, so I'm sure we came from down there. Up here, or oh, whatever. The 
The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Clearance level one. So I'm here to become a janitor's assistant, I believe. Imagine if the game was just that. It was a janitor simulator. The trench, do not disturb. I feel like there's going to be a lot of her talking to us. Or me. I'll say yes, why not. Yeah, but she's doing a bit, there's going to be a lot of that, I feel. Uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, right, let's pick up the gun. of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Ah, cool. Jump. So this, I get the idea that this is a uh, sort of tutorial of sorts. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa. That scared the hell out of me. Melee for the win! Oh, I didn't do that much. Oh, no, I did like half. Hey. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go I wonder why the cursor lights up like the aiming reticule goes red when I put it over his body that can't be a good sign. Ah, so this is a kind of open world, it seems. Proceed further into the bureau. Executive, central executive. Welcome to the oldest house. Now that is a cool looking gun. Especially because like, it looks like it uses its own like mass to create bullets. That's an interesting idea. Especially considering you don't need ammo. You don't need to pick up ammo. It's kind of you have to, you're forced to sort of wait it out. These guys can take out a fair amount of health too. I'm already well like quarter quarter of my health is left, so Good as new. I'm curious as to how destructible the environments are. Hmm. 
that's not too bad. That is actually pretty impressive. I know that was one of the main points a lot of the reviews pointed out, like the, the environments are really um, reactive. Okay, where am I going? Oh, collectible. I thought something might change in here if I shut the door. Uh, clearly not. Central executive. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. That battle's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. with the chanting. It could be from these guys. Where's the intercom? Where's the safe room? Uh, is it up there? Please talk to me. Oh, ah, not this one. You deal with the compromised agents. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out!
Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. So, I'm assuming just, yeah. The good thing about that then was that it was not a quick time event. You could just sit there and watch it. <laughs> I'm glad quick time events for the most part, uh, uh, you know, have had their day. Okay, let's go see Emily. Oh yeah, Emily. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. 
I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the... The hotline should be in the communications department. Ah, you can... That's cool. Alright, let's go through this, shall we? Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. 
but that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Ah, suspicion, intrigue. Okay, that was all the questions I've got at the moment. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Let's go to the comms department and find this hotline. I'm curious though about this bit. Fast travel and outfits. All I've got is the civilian outfit. Um, one, a cord did come with the game itself for something called an astral outfit. I'll try and get, I'll put the cord in after I do this and download everything. That comes with the with a normal the normal edition of the game I got and uh, yeah I'll test that out in the next video maybe. Uh, no point in fast traveling. So right, the boardroom is here. Uh, hmm. I thought she did say it was just past the boardroom. Oh, it was this way. Cafeteria, nostalgia department, communications department, dead letters. There it is again, our welcome message. I'm the director. Surely I have clearance level one. It's this way. Then you get down there and go on ahead.
Um, did I take a wrong turning? No, this is this looks like where I'm supposed to be. Down, you fool. Uh, can I knock? Oh, I didn't shoot that window, yeah? Let me in. I have collectible fever. I have to collect everything. Dead letter approval. Where to go from here? Communications. Ah. We're on the right track. I don't know what these materials are, but I assume there's a crafting component later on in the game that they'll be used for. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to assume or guess anything at this point. I've gone the wrong way. Anything useful?
Do I... No, I, I'm... Do I jump? No, it's fine. I got you now! to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The boards in charge here, their pyramids in bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Yeah. Now it's getting good. gone cut off i got it just like you wanted right this will help me fight the hiss what is that ah it's a guy I'm stuck in the box. I'm living in the box. I'm living in a cardboard box. Ah, that was over quickly. But that new power will come in very handy. Uh, if you hear like a loud, like pinging noise, here, like a you know, couple, like a about one two minutes ago. Uh, my apologies, I put the timer on on my phone so I don't go over just my, uh, my time limit and I forgot to put the sound off. Anyway, here's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you all for watching, it means a lot. Uh, if you could, you know, hit that like button and then hit the comment section as well. That would be very much appreciated. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. I have had a lot of fun, and I'm very excited to play like, you know, the rest of the game. Um, I can't wait to see where this goes, the story. It is a great introduction, and yeah, I have faith in the company, so I know that I'm going to definitely enjoy this. I look forward to talking to you all and hearing from you all in the next video. Until then, though, take care and have fun.